everybody doing today? Uh, just gonna be a little video about something that uh, has become part of my new EDC collection, and that is the Olight Seeker 2 Pro. Very impressed with this flashlight. It's uh, three LEDs. It's got this nice blue finish around there blue finish around the button texturized grip it's waterproof it's a uh, magnetic charging so here's the charger and uh, charge it it sticks itself to it now this particular flashlight comes with a wall mount that's also magnetic but so you just Mount, uh, mount to the wall, put your charger on top of that, and then you plug this in. So I actually bought two of these. I got one for my truck for work, and then one for my wife for at home. Because power does go out a lot over there. But uh, it's powered by one 2170 battery. That's a big battery, 21700. Does have a place to put a lanyard. Now, I have been using it, so it is a little marked up a little bit. But uh, I am going to compare when it gets dark out these three little LEDs to my 24 inch dual row Speed Demon light bar that I have mounted on the front of my truck. But uh, obviously the light bar is going to be brighter, but it's just going to be a comparison to see how bright this little guy can get. And it does have five modes, so it's got your, your low mode, shows you brightness over here, and this is your battery power, how much you have left. Then you hold the button. And that's your middle mode, your high mode, then you double click to turbo mode, then triple click for strobe. Um, oh, it does come with a sheath to carry it in too, but I don't use the sheath, I just throw it in my pocket. And uh, I usually have a headlamp on my helmet, my hard hat. But I'm replacing that too with an Olight. That'll be a different, maybe a different video. But uh, it's also rechargeable. I'm sick of batteries dying on all my stuff. Because I work in pitch blackness half the time. You know, it's coming winter, so I'm in daylight for about three, four hours. And then it's pitch black the rest of the time. But uh, anyways, I'll be back to show how bright this little guy can get. Um, yeah, well, I'll be back. All right, y'all. Check out this uh, Olight. So this is the low setting. You can't really see much. I'm shining on the closest tree. And then your medium setting. See a little better. High setting. So this tree is only about you know, 15 feet away. No, was that the high setting? Yeah, that was the high setting. Let's go to turbo.
that tree is about 100 feet away. So you can't really see it on camera, but this is shining all the way down about 100 yards to another grouping of trees. It's not focusing right. So this is a straight up floodlight. No spotting. Let's check out the uh, strobe. If you have light sensitivity, shut your eyes now. Alright, let's compare this to my 40 LED light bar. So that's 40 LEDs. And this flashlight will still, you can still see it inside my light bar light. And it's helping light up the path a lot more too. Why did I buy a flashlight like this? one reason I was at work and the sun had just gone down so it was still just light enough to where I could see but I still couldn't see very far but as I was walking along the road I was smoking a cigarette and then I just got this weird feeling that something was watching me and I turned my headlamp on which batteries were about half dead so all I could see was some eye shine and well it was a freaking mountain lion and it was only about, I don't know, 25 yards away, just eyeballing me. And at that time, I had, did have a coworker. I don't have a coworker right now, but uh, uh, he had a spotlight. Still wasn't even this bright, but we could still make it out to be the mountain lion. And like a couple days later, somebody figured out where the mountain lion lived. And it's pretty close to where I'm working. Yeah, not a bad flashlight for this one I think was $160, fits in your hand. Alright, we'll check out some uh, landscaping instead of just the road. So low mode, I don't see nothing. got a gate in front of us with some grass but does not I can see the tree out with my eyes but I can't see it on camera high mode there's that tree so this is a thousand lumens or no high high mode is 1500 lumens for 10 minutes and then it will drop to 1000 lumens now turbo mode yeehaw so it's like 250 meters is the max projection of the beam and that hill behind that tree is about well over a hundred yards away yeah pretty cool flashlight too bad there aren't any deer out there get some eye shine going but uh, anyways thanks for watching uh, Y'all take care, stay safe, and uh, enjoy the rest of your night.